Welcome to my lab. I'm Drew Collip. Today's lab will be our second lab in our carbohydrate identification series. In this lab, we'll add iodine to some solutions. It is a test for polysaccharides. If polysaccharides are present, there will be a significant color change. We add two drops to half a mil of each solution. Here we have our negative control, our water, positive control, starch, and another positive control, glycogen. Notice the significant color change between the negative control and starch and glycogen. Let's now test our samples. Sample one. Sample two. Sample three. Sample four was eliminated in our previous video, the first video in our carbohydrate identification series. It was determined to not be a carbohydrate by the Mollish test. Here we have sample six and sample seven. Sample eight was eliminated. Sample nine is next. Sample 10 was eliminated. Sample 11. Sample 12. And sample 13. Now compare our controls to our unknowns. Everything that is not a polysaccharide should appear as our negative control, distilled water. We have a starch as a positive control and glycogen as a positive control. And it should be obvious in our unknowns which is which. We will then eliminate these samples for our next test, which is Barfoid's test. And we will test for disaccharides versus monosaccharides. Until next time.